Turn to Colossians chapter 3. If you have a Bible, iPhone, Android, uh, with a Bible app, turn to Colossians chapter 3. There's two passages I want to share with you. I'm going to do it very quickly. You're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. And by the way, since we have four services now, that means I have to talk even quicker. So buckle up. Okay, buckle up. You ready to go? Here we go. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Since then you've been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. For you died... You died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. I was asking myself this question, God, how are Christians supposed to live in a world with a broken moral compass, with a culture that seems like it's gone off the rails? What are we supposed to do? I know we're holy and set apart. I know we're supposed to love deeply. How do we do that? And I read this passage, and the phrase, heaven to earth, came to me heaven to earth. Now, I was born and raised in church. I really was. Some of you know my story. I was born and raised in church, zero to 16, never missed a Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday evening. A lot of you have had hard lives. So did I. I had a drug problem as a kid. I was drugged to church every single week. That's, that's my story. That is my story. Absolutely true. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. When I was a kid growing up in church, this is what I got. I got the exact opposite of what I just told you. I did not live as a Christ follower for many, many, many years in this way. I lived from earth to heaven. In other words, I knew that I loved Jesus, that I'd said yes to Jesus' gift of uh, his life on the cross. I prayed to receive him as my savior, forgive me of my sins, but for the rest of my life as a follower of Jesus until I had a moment of understanding, I lived from earth to heaven. Here's what I mean by that. I knew that someday when I died in the sweet by and by, I'd go to be in heaven. Until then, the goal was to live as honoring to God as I could be so I could ultimately get to that place where I was like Jesus. So in my church growing up, this is what we said. Kind of even said these exact words on occasion. If you don't smoke, drink, or chew, or go with girls that do, you'll probably be okay. Okay? So in other words, like, we, 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 we thought a lot of lists of moral behaviors, and we thought a list of things that we should and shouldn't do and said we should live from earth to heaven. The Bible is clear that once you receive Christ, your life has been exchanged. You've gotten an upgrade and you are to bring heaven to earth. Not work really hard on earth to try to earn your way into heaven. I think I told you about this. It happened about two years ago. It was in this city, in Citrus Heights. Uh, and my role as president of Jessup, I speak to a lot of chambers of commerce. So I was speaking and I do leadership talks. And when I do leadership talks, I don't bring a Bible. I don't talk about God and Jesus and the church. Or if I happen to mention any kind of spiritual references, I'm, I'm pretty gentle about that because I'm in a public uh, sort of organizational setting. So one day I finished at Bayside, uh, not Bayside Citrus Heights, but the Citrus Heights Chamber of Commerce. It was a lunch, about 150 people. And uh, I finished my talk on leadership and a man came up to me afterwards and gave me one of the greatest compliments I've received. He said, Dr. Jackson, thank you for the leadership stuff. That was really interesting. I enjoyed that. It was great. He said, but you know, when you stood up to speak and you began to talk, it was like something in the atmosphere shifted. Oh, folks, that just, it was like a God moment. That immediately touched my heart. And I said, that is what I want to do. I want to be part of bringing heaven to earth. People may not know how to describe it, but in your family, in your neighborhood, in your community, you're supposed to bring heaven to earth. How many of you know the address of this church is not an accident? It's an assignment. Citrus Heights, Orangevale, Antelope, Fair Oaks, all the communities that this church family touches, that is not an accident. It's not just like a quirk of address. It's your assignment. Your assignment is to bring heaven to earth. Your workplace is not an accident. It's an assignment. You have to shift the atmosphere of that setting. You bring heaven to earth. You are China. Every atmosphere that you walk into gets an upgrade. That's what God's calling is, for us to be set apart to love deeply.